Our next guests are a married couple who have devoted their lives to protecting animals. Their latest documentary is called Soul of the Elephant, and I loved it. It is amazing. Please welcome Derek and Beverly Joubert. People always ask me when I'm interviewed who I admire and who are my heroes, and it's people like you who devote their lives to doing something that is trying to protect endangered animals. So thank you for what you do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> I'm watching this documentary, and you have to see this documentary. It's fascinating, especially since I've been on safari. I'm even more fascinated by it. Um, you live in Botswana. In uh, Let's show a picture of the house that they live in. I guess it's called a house. Is that a house? <laughs> it's like a... It's a tent. It's okay. under canvas. <laughs> it's a tent. There's no doors to lock or anything like that. No. Or And it's in the middle of nowhere. Like, the closest thing is, like, six hours away? Six hours away, and most of the time the roof blows off as well. So... Uh... Yeah, it's hectic. So, and, and the, I think there was an, an elephant just passing through, like, in front of your, your uh, house. Um, how is that not dangerous? <laughs> you know, that, that is what's liberating. We, we're actually living out in true wilderness. So we have animals walking through our camp all the time. We have animals coming into our tent, um, but tiny little critters quite a lot of the time. Uh, we live under the stars, and uh, we cook on an open fire. And... It's not dangerous because we're very aware and very alert, mm -hmm. um, but we also respect the animals, and I think that's what it is. You know, you give, we give them total respect. We don't try and challenge them at all. I guess they know that. Um, uh, so, <laughs> so, so, Soul of the Elephant is... Uh, I want to show some B-roll, and we'll talk about why you wanted to do it. Here's some elephants that uh, are charging you. You're in a boat, and if, if anybody's ever seen the, the power they have that you weren't scared you just stayed completely still, and that elephant was... You just thought he was posturing? <laughs> well, elephants, um, when they're seriously going to charge you, they put their heads way down, and there's no mock charge at all. And that was posturing. That is an incredible mock charge. She was going a little beyond what just a mock charge is, uh, but we could do nothing. We had to stay our ground. We were right in, in the canoe, right up against the water. And if we had started backing off fast, she would have come right in. She would have, to you know, toppled us over. But there is something beautiful about being on that knife edge. Uh, you know, when something's charging you and getting up really up close and in your face, there's something sort of meditative and, and magical about that. So. I don't think everybody would feel that way. I think that's, <laughs> that's a very uh, few people that would feel that it's meditative because Portia and I went on safari, as I said, and, you know, the power of elephants are, are just more incredible than, than the lions or anything else that we came across. Um, elephants, uh, well, I'll let you... How many elephants do we have today? So when Beverly and I were born, there were about one and a half million elephants, and now there are half a million elephants. Yeah. And so these, these animals are, are really disappearing. We're losing them at a rate of five an hour. Five elephants an hour. That's yeah. nearly 100 a day. Yeah. Because of their tusks for the Protein, ivory. because of the ivory. And very few people realize, in fact, that uh, to get ivory and to use it at all, you have to kill an elephant. It doesn't just drop out. Yeah, they, don't, they can't just cut the tusk, tusk no. off. It, it, yeah. The elephant must die in order to get the... And ivory now is illegal, isn't it? Ivory is illegal. Um, in, in, in fact, it's very hard to say ivory is illegal completely because it's, you know, it's still being traded with. But ivory is illegal now in, in the States, although you, have, um, you can still bring ivory into almost every state except three. So that is, that is the problem. Um, we would love ivory to be not used at all and only left on elephants. 84% of the Asians believe that um, ivory just drops off. And so they don't realize it's blood ivory. Yeah. So the soul of the elephant, uh, you call it that because? Well, because I think that we wanted to, to state the numbers, these falling numbers, but we also wanted to point out to people what we would be losing. So it's not just numbers and graphs going down. Um, we wanted to, to get into the very soul of the elephant. And quite often we've been asked if elephants do have souls. And I usually count and say, if we do, then why shouldn't elephants? Yeah. And if you watch this documentary, if you've seen anything on elephants at all, they are incredible creatures, and they have, uh, you know, these emotions when they come across other elephants, other uh, bones of elephants. They, there's like a funeral procession that... It, they, it right. truly is. It's, it's almost like a ritual. And it's an investigation at the same time. But it's remarkable. Um, 
I think we've had great experiences with this. And one was that we collected ivory um, off a carcass that we found, and we put it in the back of the vehicle, but we couldn't make it back to the nearest ranger station. So we had to sleep out in the middle of the bush. And um, at, at about midnight, all of a sudden, our vehicle was rocking from side to side. And we woke up and we realized that it was an elephant bull, and he was rocking us. So Derek clapped his hands, and off, she, off the bull went. But about um, an hour later, the bull was back again and just rocking the car. And that's when we realized they could smell that ivory we threw it out and he just picked it up and they fondled it there were two of them by that stage and they fondled it and in the morning when we woke up they'd taken the ivory away wow you see how meditative it is yeah no <laughs> that really is special that really yeah, is amazing truly yeah. incredible yeah, yeah. um all right we have to take a break and uh we'll find out how we can help these animals and others because it's not just uh, elephants it's lions and it's uh it's everything and we need to stop this it's poaching and it's big game hunters who think it's fun to go shoot something that's so beautiful and magnificent which i will never understand um we'll be back so how can people help what, what can we do um, to save these animals because they're also finally finding out that elephants could actually save us, right? Right, so very That's interesting right. study just out and that we found out that there's certain cells within, within elephants' blood that stop them from getting cancer. So we might be able to learn more about that and stop ourselves from getting cancer. We don't know what we don't yet know about these animals, and I yeah. think that's fantastic. So Absolutely. Um, we, we encourage people to, to get hold of our foundation, the Great Plains Foundation. We started the Big Cats Initiative with National Geographic, and that's one way to get in behind the Cecil the Lion stories, um, and of course, rhinos. So that's a big thing for us. Um, we have a project right now that's called Rhinos Without Borders, and that's really about protecting rhinos that are being poached in the highest poaching zones in South Africa and then relocating them to Botswana and, uh, you know, to secret locations. And our goal is to move 100. We've already moved 25. One female's already had a baby, so we're feeling like gran proud grandparents right now. To uh, a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> to a rhino. <laughs> but it's, it's the only way right now. Um, if we can't stop the senseless killing, we could lose rhinos in the next five to 10 years. And that's a, almost every animal um, is in that same situation. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's horrible, and that's why I say I love what you do, uh, and um, if, if you want to help, go to our website. You can find out where you can see uh, Nature's Soul of the Elephant and their, uh, and, and their foundation and anything that you can do. Every little bit helps, so thank you so much. We